Bluebird's channel, original and still the best. Here we go. You'll actually notice that if you look around, there's the ridge line. We're actually in the basin of a whole pile of mountain ranges. What we actually are is in actually a giant basin where we're actually in the very center of a volcano. Because rather than the volcano being up, it's actually down and we're walking in the middle center part. <laughs> scientists sent down to see how deep it was. It's 22 feet deep and the opening for um, Old Faithful is actually only four inches wide. So the, all the water that's pressing up is being pressed up through four inches which is creating the height for Old Faithful. Now it's starting. It's going to eventually fall, but right there, it, it, not for a long, long time. And it was just out eating, eating from the tree. Yeah. Well, the one the tree Bacteria mat. So this one actually came when it, it was it's a rather new one. I want to say in like the 18th, 1980s. It erupted. And then, like, it all sank in, but it made um, some of the geysers around here erupt for two weeks straight once it erupted. And now it's just bubbling hot, mud hot. You touch that, and your whole skin would probably burn off because it would stick to you. of the Yellowstone Loop. Behind us you'll see Gibbon Falls and Gibbon River. Mm -hmm.
behind us, you'll see the Blood Geyser. While its name evokes nasty, gruesome thoughts, the reality is it's not really gruesome. What it emits is an iron oxide, which leaves a red trail along the path, if you look in the water behind. It's been continually erupting since 1882 and continues to erupt up to 150 gallons of water a minute. Please hit subscribe and click the bell. Thank you.